Good day, dear students. I welcome you all in Gyan Doot 2.0 online lectures. And today, I, Mrs. Alka Pamar from Government Girls College, Ajmer, will teach you the elements of Shakespearean comedy with special reference to Merchant of Venice. We all know what a comedy is. Comedy is a play or a drama with a happy ending. And many dramatists have written comedies. But today my lecture is specially designed for Shakespearean comedy. There are certain common characteristics in almost all of the comedies written by Shakespeare. And today we are going to discuss some of those common qualities. First and foremost, characteristic of a Shakespearean comedy is that the heroines are given more space and significance in Shakespearean comedies rather than his tragedies where the protagonist is necessarily a male character. Now this is a very important and significant point that in almost all the comedies written by Shakespeare, <coughs> the female character characters or the heroines are given more space. Now what do you understand by space? More importance, more significance, a place of honor and respect and the decision making power. So the heroines are of paramount importance. They are the protagonists, not the males. But in Shakespearean tragedies, the males are the protagonists. They are the heroes. Othello, King Lear, Macbeth and uh, Hamlet. All the heroes are males in the tragedies. But in the comedies, the males are of secondary importance because the important decisions, the decisive moments, they are all given to the heroines. For example, Viola in Twelfth Night, she is of paramount importance. The whole play and the whole plot revolves around Viola. She is the protagonist of the play, not her twin brother Sebastian, nor Duke or Sino, and no other male character occupies a paramount importance as Viola does in Twelfth Night. She holds the decision-making power and the whole action revolves around her. In the same manner, in Merchant of Venice, we see that Portia is the protagonist of the play. She is so important that it is only in her hands to save the life of Antonio. And it is her quick wit and it is her intelligence that saves the life of Antonio. Portia is a beautiful lady. She is also a rich lady. And not only beautiful and rich, she is quite witty. She is intelligent. And Bassanio, by marrying Portia, becomes powerful. It is Portia who makes Bassanio powerful in the sense of finance and in the sense of power. So it is Portia, not Bassanio, who saves the life of Antonio. So here also we see the heroine is more important than Antonio or than Bassanio. Though the name is given, the merchant of Venice, it is given for Antonio, but still it is due to Portia that the uh, tragedy, the possible tragedy is converted into a comedy. It was possible, it had been possible for Shylock to kill Antonio. But Portia saved the life of Antonio. Now, second, a com second common characteristic in Shakespearean comedy is disguise. Now, disguise and mistaken identity are some of the common features of Shakespearean comedies. What is disguise? Hiding one's own identity, 
and stepping into the shoes of somebody else posing in someone else uh, dress now this dramatic feature makes shakespearean comedies very very interesting now due to disguise and mistaken identity a lot of confusion and a lot of misunderstanding is caused what is mistaken identity when x is mistaken for y and y is mistaken for x so these two elements add wit and humor they add uh, confusion they add misunderstanding to the plot and hence making the plot very interesting viola is disguised as cesario a servant in 12th night everybody takes viola as cesario he sorry she is Uh, disguised as a page in order to save her honor in the city of illyria because she is all alone she thinks that her twin brother sebastian has died so for her safety and to find a job in duke orsino's court she dresses herself up as a page as cesario and the most interesting thing is that she becomes a messenger between the duke and lady olivia and lady olivia mistakes her for a male and she falls in love with viola so this situation creates confusion this situation also creates a lot of humor and interest in the play and on the other hand viola's twin brother whom she resembles very much he when he when he comes to illyria again a lot of confusion is caused between viola and sebastian and all these situations amuses amuse us a lot and one thing that happened is that lady olivia mistakes sebastian for viola but in the end what happens that the marriage of lady olivia and sebastian takes place now portia in the play merchant of venice is disguised as a male lawyer she disguised as her cousin who was the lawyer and due to her quick wit due to her intelligence she was able she was successful in saving the life of antonio nobody re, nobody recognizes her and her friend and these situations also create a lot of confusion a lot of amusement among the readers and among the spectators so much so that bassanio gives his ring to portia which portia demands as a male lawyer so all these situations are due to disguise and mistaken identity so disguise and mistaken identity are two very very uh, significant very very prominent characteristics salient features of shakespearean comedy then there is misconception the identity of characters is mistaken due to disguise or resemblance viola resembles her twin brother so much that they are mistaken for each other misconception of portia as a male lawyer and nerissa as the assistant the two gentlemen of verona a comedy by william shakespeare is also a very good example of mistaken identity <clears throat> then wedlock wedlock means marriage shakespearean comedies generally end with a happy reunion of lovers in the form of marriage his romantic comedies involve a beautiful heroine and a gallant and smart hero there are a lot of problems in their love life but in the end they are united and some of his comedies involve more than one marriages for example midsummer night's dream and twelfth night 
they end with more than one marriage. Merchant of Venice involves three marriages, the marriage of Bassanio with Portia, the marriage of Lorenzo and Jessica, and the marriage of Nerissa and Graciano. So wedlock and marriage is a necessary feature of William Shakespeare's comedy. We all are uh, awestruck in how these uh, people will marry. But in the end, all the misunderstandings are overcome, all the obstacles are overcome and the hero and the heroine get happily married. Shakespearean comedies are set in a very romantic and remote setting. It is remarkable just how many settings in Shakespeare's comedies are given idyllic and almost fantastical settings. There is the forest of Arden in As You Like It, an enchanted wood outside the city of Athens in, mid, in A Midsummer Night's Dream and the mysterious island of Illyria in Twelfth Night. Each location has been so carefully brought out, brought to life by Shakespeare that we are wonder-stricken. There are lands which only convey the world as we would wish it to be, havens of tranquility and rich in nature. Whenever we read Shakespearean comedy, we feel as if we are transported from the real world to an imaginary beautiful world. So this romantic and remote setting it gives a charm to Shakespeare's comedies. And the action of Shakespearean comedies take place in some remote and romantic, highly imaginary setting. <clears throat> then, the role of music. In Shakespearean comedy, we find that music plays a significant role. There are a lot of chorus music and songs in Merchant of Venice. Twelfth Night opens with Duke Orsino's craving for music. If music be the food of love, play on. So, even in the dialogues of Shakespeare, we find rhyme, we find music, we find poetry. And the fools in Shakespearean comedies, they sing. The chorus, they sing some song. So, here and there in Shakespearean comedy, we find songs and we find music. So, it is, a import, it is an important ingredient in Shakespearean comedy. In Twelfth Night, in the opening scene, Duke Orsino is love lone and he thinks that nothing can soothe his heart than music. So, he asks his musicians, to play on music because it is due to music only that his heart is soothed. In other Shakespearean comedies also, we find a lot of music. The very dialogues are filled with music and the songs which the fools sing. And one more point that Shakespearean comedies necessarily have a fool. Now, who is a fool? A fool is not necessarily a foolish person, but a person, he may be a servant, he may be a messenger, or he may be a friend. But he is named as a fool because his sole purpose is to make the protagonist laugh. But he is witty enough to judge the mood of the protagonist and the characters around. For example, in Twelfth Night, the fool knows and he judges the characters' mood by their dialogues. And accordingly, he says something. So his name is fool, but he is not foolish. He has wit and sometimes he may be so witty that even Viola in Twelfth Night, she is impressed by the uh, witty dialogues of the fool. Then the role of chance. <clears throat> Shakespearean comedies revolve around chance. What is chance? Chance means fate. Chance and fate play a significant role in Shakespearean comedies. For example, the twin brother-sister Viola and Sebastian in Twelfth Night land in the same place Illyria. So, 
it is by chance by chance they are involved with the same people who mistake them for each other now after landing in illyria viola meets duke orsino viola meets lady olivia and sebastian also encounters the same people and so the confusion is caused so between cesario and sebastian sebastian is mistaken for cesario and cesario is mistaken for sebastian it is by chance only that both of them are alive even after the shipwreck it is by chance that they land into the same place they meet the same people and by chance they get their life partners in this city illyria in merchant of venice also we can find the role of chance antonio's ships are miscarried in his utmost need he is a rich person he is very helpful friend but when his friend bassanio badly needs money antonio does not have money it is chance and it is by chance that at present antonio's ships are not there with him all his fortunes are at sea and it is by chance that antonio's ships they do not return to the port on time and antonio is about to be killed by shylock it is by chance that portia reached the court on time and antonio is saved so chance and fate play a very significant role in shakespearean tragedies sorry comedies then humor and wit so we can very well understand because they are comedies so they need to have humor and wit in it so wit and humor form an important part in the comedies of shakespeare the dialogue is filled with so much of wit and sparkle and humor that it amuses the audience and readers especially the dialogues delivered by the fools sometimes it may take the role of farce and belly laughters are aroused in us in the audience so for example in merchant of venice the dialogues of portia in the trial scene are filled with wit are filled with intelligence how how is she successful in saving the life of antonio due to her quick wit due to her intelligence due to her presence of mind when shylock is bent upon sticking to the bond she catches shylock on his own words that yes you will have your bond and where is it written in the bond that you will drop a single drop of blood so she is successful by her quick wit by her intelligence in saving the life of antonio and there is a touch of humor we laugh a lot when shylock discovers that his daughter has eloped and taken the money he is confused whether he should cry for the elopement of his daughter or whether he should cry for his money sometimes he says sometimes he says oh my daughter at another moment he says oh my jewels oh my money oh my gold oh my daughter and the children in the street they are so amused that they run after him so this scene this these dialogues are filled with humor and they cause a lot of amusement even the fools in the shakespearean comedy are very witty as i have already told you that the fools in shakespearean tragedy are not foolish they are filled with wit and quick wit they are able to outwit you they are able to judge the mood of the people around and accordingly act and 
they are able to arouse a lot of laughter in the audience and the uh, readers then at the end in shakespearean tragic comedies there is a happy resolution of all the events so the plot involves a beginning middle and an end the end is filled with a happy resolution because it is a comedy so it ought to be uh, end ought to end at a happy note so all the comedies by william shakespeare revolve resolve happily in the end in the end all the problems and all the confusions are resolved and the comedy ends happily for the major characters for example the 12th night in the 12th night all the confusion caused by the mistaken identity of viola and sebastian it is resolved in the end and duke orsino understands the fact that lady olivia can't love him she can respect him but she can't love him and the two couples are happily married they are viola marries duke orsino and lady olivia marries sebastian and it ends happily because lady olivia has loved the form of sebastian in the form of viola so she gets what she wants and there viola is also happily married with uh, duke orsino in the same way in merchant of venice it also ends happily there is a happy resolution and shylock who was about to kill uh, antonio out of jealousy he is caught in the end but for the major characters for the good characters the comedy turns out to be happy because antonio's life is saved and his life is saved for his friend bassanio who who was helped by him bassanio's wife portia arrives at the right time and she saves the life of antonio so these are some of the major salient features of shakespearean comedies let us have a quick revision some of the major characters of shakespearean comedy are that the heroines are given more importance in comedies rather than the heroes who are given more importance in the tragedy then disguise and mistaken identity or misconception causes a lot of misunderstanding a lot of humor and a lot of confusion in the comedies then there is a wedlock a happy wedlock at the end of shakespearean comedies the setting of shakespearean comedies is very very romantic and remote some place of imagination which lends charm to the comedy by shakespeare music plays a significant role in shakespearean comedies we have a lot of songs we have chorus we have band of musicians and singers in shakespearean comedies there is a role of chance in shakespearean comedy by chance a lot of things happen then humor and wit form important ingredients of shakespearean comedy there is a happy resolution at the end of shakespearean comedy so i think uh, you must have been able to understand the salient features of shakespearean comedy thank you so much